Hi, this is Magnar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to give you a little introduction and overview of how uh, the effects, effect bundles, and campaign scopes uh, all work, to, which are all parts of uh, the effect system, such as we're going to use things such as um, faction traits, uh, seasons, and or buildings army stances, all those kind of things, use uh, this effects bundles, uh, this effects system to work. Uh, so I'm gonna, you're not going to need uh, to have your pack, and cause I'm not going to actually be adding anything or editing anything specifically. I'm just going to be walking you through how it all uh, generally works uh, and interacts. The specifics I'll go into further detail uh, in future episodes, but this is kind of just a quick general overview. Um, and a little run inter uh, about how it all works and uh, interacts. So what we have first, let's go to the effect bundles table, uh, just to show you that. Effect bundles. Okay, in effect bundles, what we have here is an effect bundle key, uh, which is just whatever you want to make it. You can make it whatever you want. The localized tile and localized description I don't think they're actually used because all the text in Rome 2 is actually coming from uh, the a different pack and it's not coming from the DB tables, it's coming from, if we go to the data, it's all coming from these local EN Rome 2 and local EN uh, packs if you have an English version, EN being for English. If you have a different language then of course it's coming from those different language uh, packs doing the same thing. Um, what we have then is a UI icon, which is assigned to that effect bundle. So for seasons, when you select a settlement, then the UI icon for the seasons will be in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, and you can hover over it and you can see all the different effects uh, for that, that that season has. The bundle target is just what that bundle is being uh, used to affect. So a faction trait bundle would be used to, could have the bundle target of a faction. Seasons will have the bundle, target, uh, <laughs> bundle target of a, a province. Uh, and there's a f you've got character, you've got force, army, navy, all those kind of things. The bundle target you can find in the bundle uh, effect. I think we have to go into assembly kit to find that. And it's in the effect bundle target. It's not actually in the data run 2 pack. So if you want to check out what they are, there's five of them that you can use. Character, because it starts zero, one, two, three, four. Character, faction, force, province, or region. Force, of course, being army or navy. So that's the faction, uh, the effect bundles. The effect bundles are then assigned a number of different effects. Now the effects, uh, there are uh, multiple tables to deal with effects, uh, but to get a list of what different effects are, you can just generally look at the effects table here, and that has pretty much most of the effects listed. Um, so if you don't want to create your own effects, you just want to use the ones which are already created by the game, just come into the effects table and check out what they have here. You can see you've got agent effects, building effects, see Rome building. Uh, you're going to have effects for army stances, public faction effects here, faction traits, uh, edict effects, effects for affecting units, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and what they have, again, they have a unit icon, an icon for that effect. So if you hover over the effect bundle icon, it will then pop up and it will have uh, a list of all the different effects th for that bundle. Uh, and each effect will have its own icon, which is assigned here. So this is the icon is, of course, the positive icon if it's a positive effect, negative icon if it's a negative effect. Don't worry about the priority so much. Now in the effect bundle to effect junction table is where we have the effect bundle which is created here, is, ass is assigned multiple different effects. 
So if we sort that, you can see that you can have here, for instance. Here, for instance, you have um, two effects assigned to one effect bundle. So the effect bundle key is used twice on two different uh, lines, and the effect different effect keys are assigned to it. The effect keys are coming from the effects table or possibly from other tables. Uh, the effect bundle is coming from the effect bundles table. Uh, and then we have a thing here called effect scope. Now the effect scope is coming from the campaign effect scopes table. And what that does, it tells you how this uh, effect will interact with whatever it's trying to affect. Um, so if Let's go to the campaign effect bun effect scopes table. And here are a list of 74 different effect scopes in vanilla. It is possible to create your own effect scopes to kind of create your own uh, unique uh, w effects uh, and the way that they work. I think I've created a four or five in my mod, uh, in Magma mod, four or five new ones which weren't in vanilla already. So the way these work, is you create your key, what can be named whatever you want, best to name it something which makes sense to what you're trying to do, of course. Uh, and so we start over here in the source. And the source determines where this effect generates from. So if you have seasons, your seasons are generated from a province. That's how the season system works. Uh, if you've got factions, then your effects, uh, like faction traits, then your effects are going to be generated by the faction on a factional level. If you have a general uh, if you have a uh, army stances uh, where you got, you know, force march or raiding or all that kind of stuff, fortify. The effect is generated from the force. Uh, and then you you got things such as agent actions, then where the agent can do something like kill another agent. Then the effect is generated from uh, the character. So you have all these different options for what the source of that effect will be. So you can put whatever that is that you, you need it to be. Then you have the target. The target is what the source will affect, affect with the effect. <laughs> so the effects are in that other table we looked at. Um, so if it's a faction trait, it'll have the source of a faction uh, and the target, for instance, say it, the, the faction trait like Carthage has reduced mercenary upkeep. The target will then be army or force. Uh, so that all the forces for that faction are affected by that trait. Um, if you have a, a building trait for instance, so you have buildings that can affect things in that region or whatever, uh, you could have, say, here, let's find a better building one. Okay, well, so this one is, these buildings affect a different sea region. So as an example, uh, you can have, yeah, a single region. Um, can then affect a province, so like the e an edict or something like that. Uh, so yeah, the target is what is being affected. Uh, the ownership is, to, is related to the target. The ownership means, uh, so you've got a military stance uh, and you want to increase the, say, force march, you're increasing the speed of all units. Then you'd have the source being the force, the force being army or, na or navy. Uh, the target will then be also the force because you're, you're affecting all units in that uh, army or navy and it would be all your units. You, you could f make an army stance which affects other armies for instance. So you could then make the source is the force. <laughs> uh, the target would be um, well also force but it would be any be the ownership. It would be any uh, any ownership. So it would be, be enemy armies, it would be your own armies, it doesn't really matter. And then lastly we get to location. Where the location of that effect. So 
Force wide means that back on our army stance uh, example, if you have your army in that stance is affecting your army, uh, it, it's, it's affecting your forces, uh, so not yours, so here, your forces, but only in that force that's generating the effect. Or you could have it that that force generates an effect which affects any uh, of your armies province-wide. So any army in that entire province of yours will be affected by uh, that stance. Or you could have it that it affects faction-wide. So it's a, uh, an army stance that creates a faction-wide effect, uh, which would then, the location would then be faction-wide. So the down here, faction-wide, for instance. So by doing that, you can kind of specify uh, how each effect is being used and how it is affecting and what well, what it is affecting and how wide that effect is. So whether it affects a single army or it affects all armies or just all your armies in whichever region. So you can use these uh, effect campaign effect scopes uh, to kind of really specify uh, how you want your effects to work. So that's how they work. Um, yeah, so then you assign the effect scopes that you want, which is f creating the type of effect that you want. Uh, then you put a value in. A value is ra related to the effect itself. Uh, it, you have to know how the effect works, each individual effect, to know um, what value you should put in there. For example, if you have, you can have two separate effects which affect the a unit's experience and you have to know whether that experience is being affected uh, with the, the number amount of experience it's getting like with a champion training a unit they uh, say for instance it gets 30 experience per turn and you can put in the value 30 into the value or is it like with the um, training buildings where when you recruit a unit it, it already starts with a certain level of experience. You don't want to be putting 30 in there because then it's just a ridiculous amount of experience. You, you put one or two. So you've got to kind of know what specifically that effect is doing and what is affecting uh, to know um, what value, what is a good value to actually put in there. Don't be putting 30 when one or two is probably a more uh, expected number to be putting there. The advancement stage, you can go down here, you can see what is being used for each. Um, the advancement stages are from this table here, effect bundle advancement stages. So you can use, use any of them. Um, and it's what, oops, not there. For this, I'd r it's better just to stick roughly to what uh, the vanilla versions, the vanilla values for that are. You can see that there's a few, two different ones used, or a few different ones here. Uh, it determines when kind of the effects are calculated for uh, that effect bundle. Uh, so that's kind of an introduction to how effects work. There is a lot more to it and there's a lot that you can do there to create some really unique um, experiences. Uh, as an example, you can check out the seasonal effects in the Magna mod. Uh, you can see how really complex and diverse you can make uh, various different effect bundle and effects uh, and you can do quite a lot with that. So in future episodes I'll go into a bit more and uh, all these tables here are all to do with different effects and changing them and all that kind of stuff and there's a bunch more of them as well. Uh, the campaign yeah, and so I'll get into them uh, in later episodes and uh, start dealing with specific areas of effects such as uh, season, how, to, how, to, how the season works, the seasonal effects work, how uh, army stances work, and, and I'll, I'll get into detail in future episodes uh, for modding uh, specific areas. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.